the first batch of 60 Indian nationals rescued by the Indian Embassy in Cambodia from fraudulent employers have returned home. These Indians were rescued by authorities from a place called Jin Bay 4 on the 20th of May, as per details shared by the embassy. But the embassy has been issuing several advisories to alert Indians who are actually seeking jobs in Cambodia, cautioning them not to fall prey to unauthorized agents. Indian nationals have actually been cautioned to not indulge in practices contrary to the purpose for which the visa is granted by the host government, such as seeking employment on a tourist visa. They have also been advised to not undertake illegal cyber crimes and reach out to the embassy and Cambodian hotline numbers. Mohammad Ghazali is tracking the latest developments for us. He joins us live at the moment. Ghazali, the first batch of 60 Indians have been rescued from the job scam in Cambodia and they're back home now. But are we aware of how many other Indians are there still stuck? See, uh, the 60 batch of first Indians who have been rescued uh, will be arriving shortly in Vizag from now. Uh, they were rescued yes, day before yesterday from where they were brought into the Cambodian capital where the Embassy of India is located. Then they were, their travel documents were prepared because some of them uh, didn't possess even the passport. Now, how this entire modus operandi works is that these uh, travel agents, the local travel agents are in touch with their counterparts in Cambodia and these Cambodian agents, the recruitment agents or the travel agents post and share a lot of uh, lucrous, uh, you, you can say, a very rewarding job advertisements through social media to entice and lure these gullible youths from India. And then the Indian agents prepare their travel documents, send them to Cambodia on a tourist visa. Their Cambodian counterparts receive them at the airport. Then they are taken to a computer test skills or where their data operating or data entry skills are tested and once the recruiters are assured that perhaps these Indian youths know how to operate the computers then they are coerced into tracking and trapping similar uh, uh, clients from India to carry out cyber fraud. Now uh, this entire issue came to the light last week in Andhra when some of the youths from Cambodia revolted then they started sharing videos with the Andhra police. Andhra police launched a pro probe in, in this entire issue and arrested a local agent from where they found out that more than 200 youths alone from Andhra Pradesh have been lured into this scam. They have been sent to Cambodia and as far as uh, uh, data of Indian nationals are concerned who are coerced into this job or who are working uh, for these Cambodian companies in Cambodia is more than 5,000. So a big relief for the families and for those Indian nationals who will be coming today, arriving today in the in, uh, their flights will be landing in Vizag and Andhra Pradesh. But uh, the Indian Embassy in Cambodia is in touch with many more youths who are actually working there for these Cambodian companies. So uh, in the coming days, the External Affairs Ministry has assured that all those who have been trapped or are coerced to carry out such cyber frauds will be safely brought back home. But more important part is that travel advice, advisories uh, uh, have been issued by the External Affairs Ministry many a times that how to save yourself from these fraudulent travel agents from these job offers which normally sends people on tourist visa and then they are coerced to work into such cyber frauds.